this is Google Earth 2007-2009. You won't find this anymore ever again on Google Earth Sky or Space. There is a lot of strange objects there that look to me like a spacecraft big time. And this is in the North Star. Well, the weirdest part is that these blobs or whatever they are, <clears throat> they appear to be structurized. They have geometrical patterns on it. Just like the object captured by Soho on the rings of Saturn. It's very, very strange. I believe these are spacecraft or artificially structure, made structure by whoever is there. They all look exactly alike. Well, not exactly, but very much alike. And they have structures on them. Look how far back they did. I mean, you have to really look into this to find them. Look at that one. It look like a fuse atom, hydrogen and oxygen atom. Look at it, like a light bulb. This is a screwy part, but they have structures in it. Check it out. They have structures. All these things have what appear to be girders and all kinds of structures on it. This is just really, really, I mean, who knows what that looks That looks like a, a, a craft arriving at it, or circling around, or, or who knows what that is, but it's just structures after structure I've been finding there. Now you look at Google Sky and you won't find any of it. It's just not there. They have been erasing every possible thing that you found before. Now this is gonna be the killer part. When you see this, this is gonna really, really freak you out. That's a nebula, okay? Now look at this. It's towards the Pleiades. I saw a long time ago a guy that found something and a that look like a, 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 a spacecraft. And the Orion constellation. <clears throat> and there is, there is a spacecraft right there. It's gotta be ultra gigantic right there. Look, it has those Chevron type craft, the symbol that NASA and the space agencies uses. Look, right there.
that's the symbol of why NASA uses on the, this symbol in every single space agency on Earth from any country. That's the symbol they will use in their patches or their logo. So thinking about conspiracy and crap, this is a spacecraft of immense proportion. I cannot even begin to think how big this thing can be. Look, it's just a blue dot there on the map, right there. That's what that is. And then when you let it, you enlarge big time. I mean, I have to enlarge a lot to find that thing. At first I thought it was the Pleiades, but it wasn't. It has structures. The edges of this structure is is double. Is I mean you can tell this thing is artificial, and it's semi-transparent. For some reason you can see through it, but it's not what it looks like. It's mo much more than that. I don't know how to explain this thing, but this is huge and weird and the, the most incredible thing you see faces there so there is a, a an alien face of immense proportions right there look at the eyes And there is another one here, but I mean, they're huge. Look at the eyes. They look demonic, to be honest with you. That this doesn't look right to me. But this is what the space agency uses, the logos and these type of stars. The Clementine and the Apollo, all of those missions, they use that and specifically that color too and those chevron shape uh, ships um, I assume those are ships but this is what's freaky about this thing you see this is what really got me freaked out See, those are the ships, the Chevron type or, or hyperdimensional or hypersonic wing type. That's not, nothing to do with hypersonic anything. More to do with that alien race, whoever that is. And you see these, these objects, they are structures. These are no stars. This is a no star by any means. This is so strange, man. So check this out. I kept coming back to this blue deal because I, I thought it was way too weird. I thought, well, there's something more to this blue thing that I miss study it a lot more, more detail, see what. And those things are attached to that blue thing. Whatever that blue thing is, and I believe it is a, 
a huge spacecraft for a structure or something, but it is huge. Now check this out, this is what I found on that thing. That, right there. An alien looking through a window. An alien head. Look at the eyes. It's like yellow, oranges are yellow, or it's between green and yellow color. It's hard to tell what the real color is because as this camera has a problem with the colors. But uh, that thing is in that window. So is that thing is, it's gotta be a super gigantic entity, has to be because the structure itself is very huge. And this thing is looking through a window and that. And there's another one right there. Another entity looking through, through in the corner of that the structure right there. It just this blurred, they blurred the image. And look at the spacecraft, but that's the part that I don't uh, see. That's the entity and the window right there. To give you an idea how the entity has to be very large. And look at the structures on that blue thing. Something tells me that that is those yellow, green, whatever color those things are, are either craft or structures that are around there or something weird is there. Because that entity cannot be that big. I mean, that thing has, it's gotta be in the many, many, many meters large. And look at the structures on top of the skin of that blue thing. You can tell that there is like, that thing is like really filled with whatever structures. That's the entity. You can see his eyes. The nose and the mouth and that's the head and he's like peering through a window and that's his body right there. In the constellation of Orion. At first, I saw this long time ago. Somebody posted that alien, and I thought it was a joke. Then I look it up for myself. Oh my goodness! And then look right here. This is the 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 outline of another or the face of another bigger entity. I mean, this is big unless it's a statue or something, but something is not right about this blue thing, that it, it had all those star-looking things, but when you look it up close,